reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Here is my servant whom I uphold, my chosen one with whom I am pleased, upon whom I have put my spirit. He shall bring forth justice to the nations, not cry out, not shouting, not making his voice heard in the street. A bruised reed he shall not break, and a smoldering wick he shall not quench, until he establishes justice on the earth. The coastlands will wait for his teaching. Thus says God the Lord, who created the heavens and stretched them out who spreads out the earth with its crops, who gives breath to its people, and spirit to those who walk on it. I, the Lord, have called you 
for the victory of justice. I have grasped you by the hand. I form you and set you as a covenant on the people, a light for the nations, to open the eyes of the blind, to bring out prisoners from confinement and from the dungeon, those who live in darkness. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The responsorial psalm, the Lord is my light and my salvation. The Lord is my light and my salvation. The Lord is my light and my salvation, whom shall I fear? The Lord is my life's refuge, of whom should I be afraid? The Lord is my light and my salvation. When evil doers come at me, to devour my flesh, my foes and my enemies themselves stumble and fall. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Though any army encamp against me, my heart will not fear. Though war be waged upon me, even then will I trust. The Lord is my light and my salvation. I believe that I shall see the bounty of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait for the Lord with courage. Be stout-hearted and wait for the Lord. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. King of heaven's glory. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of heaven's glory. Hail to you, our King. You alone are compassionate with our faults. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Six days before Passover, Jesus came to Bethany, where Lazarus was, whom Jesus had raised from the dead. They gave a dinner for him there. And Martha served, while Lazarus was one of those reclining at table with him. Mary took a liter of costly perfume oil, made from genuine aromatic nard, and anointed the feet of Jesus and dried them with her hair. The house was filled with the fragrance of the oil. Then Judas the Scariot, one of his disciples, and the one who would betray him, said, Why was this oil not sold for three hundred days' wages and given to the poor? He said this not because he cared about the poor, but because he was a thief and held the money back, and used to steal the contributions. So Jesus said, Leave her alone. Let her keep this for the day of my burial. You always have the poor with you, but you do not always have me. The large crowd of the Jews found out that he was there and came not only because of him, but also to see Lazarus, whom he had raised from the dead. And the chief priests plotted to kill Lazarus too, because many of the Jews were turning away and believing in Jesus because of him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. 
If you've ever been exhausted from maybe a lot of hard work, maybe of uh, being challenged by what people have said about you, and you just need a good respite, one of the most significant and powerful gifts that one person can give another is compassion. Maybe it is even suffering the death of the sorrow of a death of a loved one, son, daughter, mother, or father. But there's no other gift that can touch a person's heart than compassion. Compassion rises from the depths of our, ourselves because we are moved for the other person. We, we, we journey with them in their pain or their sorrow, um, what their response is, and we respond in love with a gesture of care and, and meaningful words of sacred encounter emerges in that. That's grace, that's divine grace. And here in today's gospel, we, we see that happening and unfolding in a very human way. Jesus, who had been mocked and persecuted and even threats on his life, he's exhausted, he's coming back to Jerusalem to celebrate the Passover meal, but his friends, Martha and Mary and Lazarus, they say, they come, come to our home, we're, we're going to take care of you, and they make a, put on a lavish meal, and then even we see that Mary was so moved that she takes a, a very expensive oil and washes the feet of Jesus. It must have been very soothing. Have you ever been to a massage? Have you ever had a family member give you a, a little rub? You, you know that it's soothing. And, and Mary offered that in the depths of her heart because she knew what Jesus was going through. She didn't know the ultimate um, sacrifice he was just about to make in that context, but she was moved with pity for him and showed him love and compassion. These are the elements of God's divine love. God's love is shown in the actions that we do. We, they will know us by our actions, we Christians, by what we say and what we do and how we reach out to one another. And God's breath, his compassion will touch each of us too. As we journey in these uncertain times, his love, his, his care, is demonstrating the love and care of those who are helping us from our government officials to our health, health professionals to a neighbor who will even leave maybe a dessert on the mailbox or some avocados at the doorstep of a rectory. All these little things are, are acts of compassion and care and love. And so even in this time of the coronavirus, God reaches out to us and Jesus uh, gives his compassion uh, as he inspires the distributors of God's grace to be manifold in so many ways. Today, maybe you, in a call, in a card, in a text, may be an instrument of the Lord's compassion for those who are anxious, those who are uh, upset, and even those that need to be consoled because of the death of a loved one. May the compassion of God infect us all, and may we experience all this day and always. Amen. So let us offer our prayers to our Lord, who journeys with us and knows our needs and in those of our hearts. We pray for the Vicar of Christ, Pope Francis, and all the clergy. May God give them courage in their vocation and strength in leading our church in prayer during this Holy Week, especially as the outreach is done in such unique ways. We pray to the Lord. <clears throat> and for our governmental leadership, the federal, state, and even in our own cities and communities, may God give them wisdom, wisdom, true wisdom, and making decisions that reflect the goodness of Christ in our world. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who struggle to see goodness or beauty in their lives, for those who are depressed and distressed, may God open their eyes to the generous work all around them. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all of you, 
members of our parish, those who are visiting us through this electronic communication, for all gathered here, may God grant us purity of heart and charity of vision in seeing clearly the redemption won for us through the Paschal Mystery. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for a particular intention of Felicia Cole, and also for all the members of this parish, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for those who have died, especially Anthony Parella, Anthony, uh, may his soul and all the souls of faith departed be anointed by Christ as he welcomes them into his heavenly kingdom. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Gracious Father, we ask that you generously respond to these, our needs and intentions, through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. O Lord, hear our prayer. O Lord, hear our prayer. Come and answer us. O Lord, hear our prayer. O Lord, hear our prayer. Come and answer us. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. For through your goodness we have received this bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. This be God, amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. With humble spirit and contrite heart, it may be accepted by you, O Lord, and may our sacrifice on your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Lord, wash me my iniquity, cleanse me of my sins. Pray, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Look graciously, O Lord, upon the sacred mysteries we celebrate here, and may what you have mercifully provided cancel the judgment we incur. Bear for us fruit in eternal life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For the days of his saving passion and glorious resurrection are approaching, by which the pride of the ancient folk is vanquished, and the mystery of our redemption in Christ is celebrated. Through him, the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Sanctus, Sanctus, Sanctus Dominus Deus Sabaho. Lord, 
The mystery of faith, save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you count us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope. Jose our Bishop, Robert our regional Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, the spouse, the blessed apostles, our blessed patrons, Buenaventura, Junipero, Sena, Caterite, Capito, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, may we merit to be for heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him we live in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor be yours forever and ever. Amen. Mis hermanos, Pida esta recomendación al Salvador y seguir de bien en enseñanza, nos atrevemos a decir, Padre nuestro que estás en el cielo, santificado sea tu nombre, venga a nosotros su reino, 
Vivamos siempre en libres de pecado y protegidos de toda privación, mientras esperamos la gloriosa venida de nuestro Salvador, Jesucristo. Tú eres el Rey, el poder y la gloria de los Señor Jesucristo, que dijiste a tus apóstoles, la paz os dejo, mi paz os doy. No tengas en cuenta vuestros pecados, sino la fe en tu iglesia. Conforme a tu palabra, concede la paz, la verdad, tu que vives en reinas, por los siglos de los siglos. Amén. La paz del Señor esté siempre con ustedes. Y con tu espíritu. La voz permanente y la paz. Por de los hijos que quitas el pecado del mundo, ten piedad de nosotros, ten piedad de nosotros. Por de los hijos que quitas el pecado del mundo, Empleados de nosotros, empleados de nosotros, por temor de Dios que quitas el pecado del mundo, danos la paz, danos la paz, este es la poder de Dios que quita el pecado del mundo, dichosos los invitados a la cena del Señor. El Señor no es un signo de entre en mi casa, pero una palabra mía basta para sanar a mí. spiritual act of communion. May Jesus, my Jesus, I believe that you are in the blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I long for you in my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. As though you have already come, I am gracious and unite myself entirely to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Let us pray. Visit your people, O Lord, we pray, and with ever watchful love, look upon the hearts dedicated to you by means of these sacred mysteries so that under your protection 
we may keep safe this remedy of eternal salvation, which by your mercy we have received through Christ our Lord. Amen. So once again, I invite you to visit our website, uh, www.missionsandweventura.org. There you'll find lots of prayers for Holy Week, ideas to celebrate in your homes, your domestic church, and connecting even with our Archbishop and our Pope. So please visit our website for all of the times of our live broadcasts and times of our liturgies uh, this coming week. Now I'm going to offer a special prayer over all of you today. May your protection, O oh Lord, we pray, defend the humble and keep ever safe those you trust in your mercy, that they may celebrate the Paschal festivities not only with bodily observance, but above all, with purity of mind, through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the compassionate Lord bless you always, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Jesus, remember me when you call it your kingdom. Jesus, remember me when you call it your kingdom. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus, remember me.